Hi everybody, this is Chris with Laurel City Historical Fencing. I want to do a little video today about something that we do in the Sila Harfectual in particular, where we re basically talk about um, Lichtenauer's German system of fencing as a holistic system. Some people ask, like, well, what does that mean? Well, what it comes down to is the, uh, um, essentially the idea that the weapons aren't taught independently of each other. The sections of, of the manuscripts aren't taught independently of each other. Uh, wrestling isn't its own thing. Uh, longsword isn't its own thing. Poleaxe and dagger aren't their own things. Armored fighting isn't its own thing. They're all variants on one core principle. Once someone has learned to do both the longsword, the fundamental plays, the concepts of range, the uh, different Meister how, all the different basic techniques, all that, um, whatever weapon you put in their hands, they're going to know essentially how to use, and then there's some adaptations here and there. There goes Henry again, I'm sorry. Um, some adaptations to make depending on the weapon. And then the same thing with the wrestling. You learn wrestling without any weapons, just bare knuckle wrestling. This is how you throw somebody, this is how you counter throws, this is how you counter someone's counter to your throw. And then you give them a dagger and say, okay, well, here's something to make it easier. Or give them a long sword, okay, now we're doing half sword. The same wrestling moves that we've used in this apply to this. So the idea, again, is that, you know, the, the main idea is that um, everything you learn in one weapon informs on all the other weapons. Well, one of our basic, simplest, most common, commonly illustrated techniques with the dagger is just a very simple, what we call uh, obsetzen, uh, setting aside with the left hand against someone coming in also with a dagger. Now, of course, that's one of our basic day one dagger class type moves. Just somebody tries to stab at you, you parry. Don't get stabbed. Now, of course, we learn that move with the dagger. But where else can that apply? Well, let's take a look. Here's the technique with the dagger. As I come in to stab Rob, he simply rises up with his left hand, blocks, and disarms me. So to see this applied with the longsword, first let's take a quick look at a technique using a pommel strike from Krun. Now since Rob doesn't want to lose any teeth, he's going to use the same left hand of Setson and disarm as we did with the dagger, but this time against my pommel strike. So the pommel and grip of your opponent's sword comes at you the same way that a dagger strike would. So we can use the, the same technique that we learned doing dagger, now just with a long sword. The same thing applies. Someone comes at you with something in their hand this way, you can use the uh, same basic block to not get hit, and then use the same kind of disarm to either take them off balance or take the weapon from their hand. So. What other examples can you think of where the same technique essentially is used from one system to another? Or are there any examples that maybe you can think of where um, you learned a move with the long sword, but then were messing around with Messer or Sword and Buckler and pulled something off? Uh, leave a comment below or respond with a video. We'd love to see it. Uh, other than that, uh, have a great week, everybody. Um, train hard, work hard, and uh, don't forget rule number one, don't get stabbed. I wanted to do a quick video today with a cat meowing in the background. Here's Henry. You saw Leia last time? Here's Henry. Henry is much more wiggly than Leia is, but he's going to want to sit here. 